Hey guys, today I'm excited to announce the relaunch of my Holiday Helper series. If you guys missed this last year, you can click the annotation and get caught up. But this year, I owe special thanks to my friends at Bissell who are sponsoring this series and collaborating with me on these videos. In a minute, you'll see why I fell in love with their cordless air ram vacuum. It is an entertainer's best friend. So let's talk about the top things you need to do to get your house ready before welcoming guests. First up, make things easy on yourself and just concentrate on three rooms. There's no need to have to clean the whole house and get everything standing tall when really you're probably only gonna be entertaining in three major rooms. It's not like you're having a housewarming party where people are gonna take tours through the house. If you don't want them to go into those rooms, just shut the doors and people will get the picture. Then my second piece of advice for you has to do with the decorations. You can spend a lot of time, money, and effort decorating the whole house. I say pick one focal point and pool all of your resources and put it into that. To create an interesting mantle display, I say think of it in three parts. You want something on the bottom, something that's fun and festive. For me, I picked a homespun holiday pennant that says be merry. Then you wanna create something above the mantle, something to draw your eye upwards. For this, I like to hang a little bit of evergreen. So let's talk about the evergreen. Here in Southern California, it's hard to find evergreen this time of year. So what I do is I go to my craft supply store and turn to the fabulous fakes. Now the gardener in me, of course, doesn't always like to use fake foliage, but in this case, evergreen is really convincing, especially if you mix and match it with some fresh fruit, because from a distance, it can be really hard to tell the difference. They come in just branches, but the way that you can put them on your mantle, it'll look like a garland. And when picking fruits, I think a good way to go is with some pomegranates, some red pears, and some baby golden pears. I love the old world coloration of those fruits, and they work really well with that kind of rustic country theme. And then for a little bit of holiday sparkle, you can go in and add some little gold ornaments. I think the gold against the green makes a really nice color combination. And then for a finishing touch, I like to add just one strand of those little fairy lights that you can get that are battery operated. I think there's something really pretty about seeing all of the green and the bits of nature against a little sparkling of light. Two days before your party, give these rooms a deep clean. Now, this is why I love the Bissell Air Ram vacuum so much, because it's powerful enough for all of your deep cleaning, but it's also convenient enough for a quick cleanup right before your party. This is especially important for me because I have two little kids at home and inevitably right before the party, somebody has left me a nice little mess to clean up. But not to worry, the air ram swings into action in a flash. Here's why I love this vacuum. It's cordless, which is a huge bonus. So there's no tripping over cords or looking for outlets. You just tap on the power button and away you go. And despite the power, it's so lightweight, it only weighs seven pounds. So this is great when you're cruising around your living room moments before guests arrive, you're not gonna wrinkle your cute party outfit. It also can lay flat, which is another awesome feature. So you can go right under tables, right under chairs, and under all of those hard to reach areas. And it has a really great dustbin that's quick and easy to empty, thanks to the slide and push feature. For more information on where you can get this fabulous vacuum, you can check the link in the description. And the next thing you can get ready is a self-serve bar. I can't say enough about this idea. For one thing, it keeps guests out of the kitchen. And secondly, it prevents you from having to run around and get everybody drinks. They can instantly feel at home where they can go up to a bar and help themselves. And then for the powder room, I make sure that it's stocked with plenty of hand towels, some fancy soap that comes in a pretty decorative bottle with some nice packaging, a fresh bloom, and a little bit of holiday-themed potpourri. I think that's safer than a candle. And for my dining room, I make sure that my buffet table is ready to go. For the centerpieces, I typically like to use fresh fruit or pine cones or things from nature because you can do it a few days ahead of time and it's not gonna wilt like fresh flowers would. And then I also like to put a little sticky note on each platter telling me what food goes where. Then a half hour before guests arrive, you wanna make sure that your dishwasher is empty. This really helps once dishes start to pile up that you'll have a place to put them. I also make sure that my oven is preheated for my hors d'oeuvres. And 10 minutes before guests arrive, I will pop them in the oven so that as they arrive, they are greeted to a delicious aroma of some freshly baked hors d'oeuvres in the oven. Then you can set your music playing, light your candles, and make sure any outdoor lights are on and you're all ready to go. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this holiday helper episode and I will see you back here next week for another one. Until then, bye.